Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to the uh, brand new series that we're going through. Myself and Dr. Jay Smith. Uh, I'm your host, Al Fadi, and we are uh, examining uh, the scientific miracles of the Quran and the claim that the Quran somehow is a book that reveals to us things that modern science have been proven. And the point is, if modern science can prove what the Quran says 14 centuries ago, then the Quran has to be from a divine source, and the prophet of Islam has to be a true prophet. Today's scientific uh, miracle claim has to do with the fact that the sun, when it goes down at the end of the day, basically, it rests on a pool of mud. And you've heard me correctly. It rests on a pool of mud. And with that, I'm going to turn over this discussion to Dr. J. Smith. Well, let's let's really just read right from yeah. the Quran itself. Yeah. Uh, verse 86 of chapter 18. Now, this is the story of Dual Qardain. And we know Dual Qardain is Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great, exactly. Uh, he, no, uh, he is well known. We have biographies of him. Three biographies have written him from the 3rd century BC. He was the great Greek warrior. And uh, he supposedly, according to the story, he goes to a people uh, who uh, who he goes and he helps. But in verse 86 of this story, it says this, until when he, that's Dual Karnayin, Alexander the Great, reached the setting place of the sun. So if the sun goes down, he found it setting in a spring of black, muddy water. Now, today we know that that's not correct. And we'll be getting into another error later on in one of our episodes about the sun and the moon and how one follows the other. That's right. So if you see the sun setting in water, uh, you're assuming, therefore, it's, that it's moving down, and you're assuming that it's going around, because then it says the next day he sees it coming up on the other side. He runs, he runs to the east then the next day, and he sees it rising out. But it sets in the west, and he rises over the run and sees it coming up in the east. So you can see that there, this is a very pre-scientific view of this sun and the earth. And it suggests clearly that the sun is going around the earth. That's right. Now, we know it doesn't happen that way. In fact, Copernicus was one of the first to actually make this discovery that actually we're, we're, we go around the sun, just the opposite. Correct. But if you are pre-scientific, you could see you'd come up to this, this, you could come up to this kind of conclusion. And that which almost all of mankind assume, that we are the center of the universe, suggesting that everything goes around us, makes its way into the Quran. Proving that this is not a proof of the Quran, like Muslims like to claim, it is a glaring error. Understandable, I can understand it, but still an error. That's right. So now back to the pool of murky water. Uh, you know, when you study the commentators, they clearly took this literally, you know, and they would say that indeed Muhammad himself said in a number of traditions that that's what happened, that it sits to cool down basically overnight in a uh, pool of mud, spring of muddy water, and, uh, you know, that uh, Dulkarnain, because uh, he supposedly expanded his territories all the way to the ends of the earth, technically speaking. Interestingly, there is a hadith that actually goes and says that as it sits there and waits, the sun has to wait until Muhammad asks permission for it to raise again. That's now, right. that's traditions. We're not going to, we have to be careful because we are really confronting the Quran. And Nonetheless, even the, the sun has for permission to. The know. sun has to ask permission. And you can right. see that this is very much a mad centered viewpoint of how this must have happened. This is what going I, I don't want to get into the traditions too much because we're trying to keep unpack this. But that would support what we see here in uh, chapter 18, verse 86. Absolutely. Well, brother, uh, I mean, I don't know what else we can add to this. It's a, a very simple, straightforward one. And our Muslim friends, of course, can go and examine for themselves these sources. And if you truly believe that the sun sits in a pool of mud, then we may want to have to visit, uh, you know, science again and study astronomy and uh, learn what modern science have revealed to us in terms of the uh, uh, you know, how the sun uh, in the uh, uh, universe uh, basically is the center of our particular, uh, um, uh, you know, um, 
uh, the universe we're living in and how the planets are the ones that are circulating around it and the sun really is not sitting in any pool of mud whatsoever. Till we meet again, have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also hit the bell so that you don't miss future videos. And please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sira International. And together we can introduce Muslims to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you.